And not all of Franco Harris's heroics were confined to the football field. New tonight at 6, KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan recalled a little known but valiant stand that Franco took. In defense of the city of Pittsburgh against the Ku Klux Klan. That's coming up. To most, Franco's greatest moment was the immaculate reception in Three Rivers Stadium. But to others, his finest hour was here on the steps of the city county building in defiance of racial hatred. It was April 1997. Franco had retired from the NFL, but Pittsburgh remained his city. And when the courts determined the Ku Klux Klan could hold a rally at the city county building, he camped out on the steps, ready to turn them away. He is there just out of the, his sheer force of his personality and his heart, where his heart is, that he, 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 we can't have this in our city. And, and we explained to him that we couldn't, we couldn't tell them, no, they can't come. And, and he said, well, I'm not leaving. He bought food, water, and a book to read, planning to spend the night. And despite the pleas of then Mayor Murphy for his personal safety, Franco refused to budge. So you were concerned about his safety and you called Dan Rooney? We did. We called Dan and Dan talked to him. Mr. Rooney arrived in tow with Steeler PR director Joe Gordon and held a sit-down summit trying to convince Franco to leave and promising to join him at a counter demonstration the next day. In his autobiography, Dan Rooney recalled, quote, Franco said he'd think about it, and soon after I left, he packed up his belongings and quietly departed. I can't tell you how much respect I have for Franco. He is a deeply principled man, and I admire his stand against the Klan. This is his finest hour? No, I thought it was his finest hour. It's what I remembered. What, I mean, that he was standing for principle, that this, we're not going to listen to this hate in our city. I interviewed Franco Harris that day, and he told me this was a stand he had to make, that the world needed to know that Pittsburgh was an inclusive city with no room for racial hatred. Another gift he gave to us all. Reporting at the City County Building, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.